This is the Gizmo Engineering T4 timer, and I'm just going to show you a few things about it in this short video. This one's in timing right now in minutes and seconds. If we were to remove the uh, one of the jumpers, you can see I have the red jumper taken off there. So now it's going to time in hours. So instead of that being five seconds, this is five minutes. So now what we'll do is press the start button, and uh, there it goes down from five minutes. So we'll cancel this. Okay. <clears throat> and reset it. Uh, so if we had a time of, let's say, one uh, couple, uh, an hour and five minutes, it would count a bit differently. You notice there's those dots chasing across the bottom uh, because nothing's moving. That lets you know that it's timing. Now I should mention, too, that this illuminated button is not standard. Uh, uh, oops, to cancel it, we want to hold it down for two seconds. Now it's cancelled and now it's reset. Now, here's our uh, the timer instructions that come with it. And uh, the early warning is what, what I want to demonstrate. So we're going to remove some jumpers. What we'll do is we'll um, hold down all three buttons, that's the way you do it. Hold them for five seconds until the display starts to flash. And there we are. And now we can set uh, an early warning time, which defaults to 10, but for this example, we're going to set it for 4 seconds. After you uh, come off of the buttons, it, wait, a, wait a bit till it flashes. And now we're going to set the actual countdown time for, uh, oh, how about 9 seconds. So now we're going to start the cycle, like so. And then at 4 seconds, this button will illuminate. And that would normally be an amber stack light, probably. And then at the end of the cycle, <clears throat> you get the usual alarm. If we start the time from zero, then this timer will count up. So there it is at zero. We push the start button, and it just counts up. And uh, just like a kitchen timer, until it reaches the maximum time, which is 99 minutes. So, and uh, so, uh, there's another mode I'd like to show you, and that is the, uh, let's see, there's, um, we've looked at the mode one, which is a manual stop, and you can cancel it. If you don't want the operator to cancel it, then you just take off uh, the jumper B there, and then they cannot cancel it. The mechanical trigger, uh, that's really for uh, line power devices, which might use a proximity sensor like this to sense a rack on a plating line. For the battery-powered unit, we're not going to really pay attention, worry about that. Uh, the pausing mode, let's try that. Let's look at that. So we have jumper B and C will come off of the pins. So that's done like this. B and C come off. And so now, <clears throat> let's set a time of uh, one minute. So now we start our countdown, and uh, counts down like you'd expect. But now the, the operator has the ability to pause it by pushing the button. Whoops, I, it's just a quick push, and it pauses there at 53 seconds. Then to resume, you just push the button again, and, uh, and it counts the rest of the way down. Pause it again, and uh, you can keep doing that all day long. So I'm going to cancel this cycle by holding it down. All right, we'll set it to zero. And, uh, and we'll do the same thing counting up. And uh, <clears throat> we'll cancel it by holding the button down for two seconds, which is kind of a universal uh, behavior for all of the modes. And finally, I'm going to demonstrate the uh, automatic cycle stop for which and for that we want uh, jumper D off of the pins so okay so now we're going to set it for a short time maybe uh, let's see uh, four seconds so now when we get to the end of the cycle it will stop automatically without any intervention and the way that this is wired up currently uh, the, there's no buzzer sound because often people don't want that uh, that can be accomplished simply by wiring the buzzer to the same uh, spot on the terminal block as the light. So that buzzer or no buzzer, it, it's uh, something you can choose. 
And uh, finally, I'm going to demonstrate the uh, guard duty. <clears throat> so we have it set up for a guard duty, and what that is, it means that the, a guard has to check in at the station every, in this case, 10 seconds, otherwise an alarm will go off. So if we start it like so, it starts to count down, and uh, it, the guard must check in, and when they do, we push the button and it resets to the set time. And that just happens over and over again. If the guard doesn't check in, then there will be an alarm at the end of the cycle. We'll let that go. And there it is. Again, this one has the buzzer has not been wired up, but that's easy to do. And again, it's counting the overrun. There's real, And there's no way to stop this cycle by design, uh, except by disconnecting power, because it's not meant to be tampered with.